Every year, between two and four billion pounds of poultry feathers become a byproduct of the industry. The majority are sent to processing plants and turned into livestock feed because feathers, like human hair, are mostly made of a protein called keratin. What happens with the rest is exciting news that's breaking new ground in the world of alternate materials. Feathers are one of the most distinguishable features among turkey breeds. For instance, wild and heritage turkeys can have a spectacular array of dark browns, bronze, and purple feathers. But the broad-breasted whites? Well, truth is, white is not even their natural color. They've been bred that way to please the consumers. They went to the white feathers because when they would be pulling out the feathers, a little brown mark would be left on the original turkeys, and this would make the consumer unhappy. Turkey feathers are extremely strong and comprised of lightweight fibers, much like nylon and cotton. Because of these properties, scientists are researching and developing new uses for them. In Wheaton, Missouri, feather fiber is developing prototype feather products destined for the automotive, construction, and cosmetics industries. Raw feathers obtained from processing plants go through a thorough washing. After they're washed and dried, the feather fibers are separated from the quills. The lighter fibers are vacuumed up into collection bags, while the heavier ones are compacted into 200-pound bales. Compressed and combined with sealants or binding agents, this new feather fiber material hopefully will replace traditional wood and plastic composite materials. Prototype products include this sample block that will be used for soundproofing and this battery mount for trucks. Its lightweight and exceptional strength makes it a good candidate to replace a not so eco-friendly molded plastic part. Who says you can't teach an old bird new tricks?